I'm Cheryl Ward and I am back with Chrissy Martin and today we're going to talk a little bit about my favorite wine, a little <laughs> bit of champagne here, right? A little bubbly? A little bubbly. We have uh, Pecorino um, from the vineyard uh, called Cali Moro and um, a lot of people have heard of Prosecco and other Italian bubblies. This one's pretty unique. You don't see too much of this out there. So it's called Pecorino and that's actually the name of the grape. It's Pecorino. Pe it was a grape, Pecorino means ship, uh, sheep in Italian, and it was a grape that smells like nectar, like really sweet on the vine, and the sheep used to eat it, so they called it the, oh, the sheep grape, and it got its name grape. as Pecorino, so. Nice. Okay, well, I have a little trivia question for me oh, that a no. lot of my friends have been telling me I'm completely wrong, but is it true that you cannot get champagne in the States, that you have to go to Italy... I believe it's Italy or Spain. France. France. Oh, France. Okay. So when you have a wine that actually says Champagne on the label, it's because it was actually those grapes were grown in Champagne, France by certain standards of the French government. But there's millions and millions of bubblies and sparkling wines and cavas from Spain. And so every country has kind of made their own version of a Champagne, but you can't call it Champagne on the label. So Italy has frizzantes and sparkling whites. Um, uh, Spain has cavas, um, you know, everyone has their own twist on the word champagne, but yes, it has to be from France to be called champagne. So. Yes, I won the bet, people. <laughs> I knew you couldn't get it here. Anyway, so give me a little insight on this one. What are we tasting here? Because you have the extra dry, you have the dry. Well, have this the one, if you have you ever had Prosecco, the Italian bubbly, it's kind of, it's a little more sweet, but it's not super sugary. It's just a little sweet, really easy to drink. What I love about the Pecorino is that it kind of walks the line between the um, Italian Prosecco and the American Moscato. So you get a lot of, from California, those Moscato di Asti's that are really sweet. sweet. Yes. And then you have the um, Italian Prosecco's that are a little dry but bubbly and they have some. This is kind of right in the middle. Here, we'll let you taste it and I'll tell you. Okay, careful tell you a little though, better. this is pop top, we don't want to make a mess. Well, that's another really cool thing about this bottle is it actually is okay. not your regular pop top. So it's for people like me who do not enjoy popping the cork. It's actually way easier to open because you open it just like a wine. Oh. And what's really cool too is a lot of champagnes and bubblies. <laughs> she doesn't trust me. A lot of champagne and bubblies don't um, take you through a whole meal because they, they really are an aperitif. I mean, they're bubbly and they're fun. And just like the way you open it like a wine, this is, although a bubbly, very much like a wine in the respect that you can actually pair it with food um, and it really does go well with with your whole course i guess what makes it a bubbly is it carbonated is it it's got some carbonation to it as you can see in the glass so it's actually called frizzante is the the legal term like that's what the italian government considers this wine because of the amount of carbonation and sugar and alcohol in it um, but taste it and see what you think Well, I like all champagnes, good, but right? this one's really good. I don't think I'd add orange juice to this one. No, thank you. <laughs> I like to hear that. What's great about this one, and I don't know if you get it, but have you ever bit into a peach and it kind of is juicy and they have that nectary sugar? That's the kind of sugar yes. you get on here. So you get this beautiful sugar, but it's actually a dry wine. And I think the dryness of it gives it the structure that you could actually pair it with chicken. You can pair it with food, salads, or just enjoy it by itself. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> well, thank you, Chrissy Martin. Yes. And tell us again what this is. So you have Cali Moro Pecorino Frizzante. Sheep champagne. <laughs> Anyways, you can come check us out on Facebook and get more information about the Pecorino. And check us out at Martin Ulysses Imports. 